Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a landing page on MailerLite so that you can start building your email list, even if you don't have a website yet. I'm all a fan of websites, but sometimes you just need to get, um, get the job done and building a landing page on MailerLite is a great way to just get started quickly. Now, a note on getting set up with a MailerLite account. When you sign up, it's free for the first thousand subscribers, which is awesome, and it's a great service. But they do ask you, they do take you through a verification process to ensure that people aren't signing up and then like sending spam emails through their service. And so they have a pretty hefty verification process. And as part of that um, approval request, they actually will ask for your website. And if you don't have one yet, that's okay. You can still request approval but it's, um, it's just a different process. So when you go in, you, you can just ask them to verify without using your website. And I've actually emailed them about this because I wanna make sure that it's still gonna be possible for you to get approval, even if you don't have a website up. And they just said, yes, it's totally possible for them to still verify your MailerLite account, even if you don't have a website, but it is just a more case by case um, based on a more case by case basis. So just make sure that when you are filling out that verification that you give them as much information as you can about your business. And I think having a, um, an established social media presence already where you have an Instagram, you have a Facebook that has some content on it so they can see that you're not just an, um, like a, a bot or a computer or somebody that's going to be sending out spam. Um, then you can, uh, they're more likely to actually verify your account. So just wanted to note that. And then once you get all set up in MailerLite, what you can do to set up this landing page, the first step is to come over here to sites and then you're gonna click create new landing page and you'll give it a name. I'm just gonna call mine five tips landing page um, second round because I already have my example here that I've showed you. I'll save and continue. And then what we will do is we will pick a, it'll ask us to pick a group. Now you see, I have lots of groups because I've been using MailerLite for a little while, but when you first get started, you'll probably just have one and it will be the name of your business. And I don't recommend keeping it that way. I actually recommend having a welcomed group and then an unwelcomed group for any, any options that you have, any landing pages, any forms that you're using to like to collect email addresses. And that's because uh, while someone is getting your like automation sequence, the emails that get sent to them uh, when they opt after they opt in, you don't want them to be getting those at the same time they're getting your like your weekly newsletter or whatever other emails you're sending to them. So I always create an unwelcomed group. Um, so that's what you can do. I've actually already created it. I've called it unwelcomed five sleep website tips. That's what this um, free landing page is for. So I'm just going to check that and click save and continue. And if you don't understand what I'm saying about automations, don't worry, I actually have another video I'm gonna point you to at the end of this that shows you a lot more about all that. Right now, we're just focusing on the landing page. So they have a bunch of templates you can pick from. I actually really like um, the one that's on page three here, this blog promotion one, that's the one I'm gonna start with. So we're gonna select that. And then, It'll take a minute to load up. Mailer, MailerLite's editor um, is really, really powerful, but it always takes a little bit to load. So once it loads up, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to um, edit the brand style for the entire page. That way we don't have to go into each of these headlines and boxes and change the font and the colors and everything for each thing, because that gets kind of like, it's a pain. So just to edit it all in one place, we'll come over here to settings. And now I actually like these page options already, so I'm gonna leave those as is, but then the font is the first thing I wanna change. Now I have a style guide here, which I'm gonna pull up for you. And so I'm gonna use um, my one of my fonts that's in my style guide. And if you can, I recommend doing that because if it really helps you to just be visually consistent across all of your, all of your social media and platforms. Um, if you can't though, then just pick one that you think looks good. So I'm gonna go with the Montserrat. I'm gonna click here on font. I'm just gonna search Montserrat. And you'll see automatically all the buttons and headlines, but, um, colors changed. And then the next thing I wanna do is change the background. So you'll see here, we've got this um, nice diagonal purple background. And I really like the, the design of it, but I don't like the color. It's not really, as you see, it's not really consistent with what I've got going on. So I'm going to, whoops. If you accidentally click on something, just click save to get out of it. I'm gonna click on background and then I'm gonna click on this body image. 
And I've actually um, edited this background so that it's a gray color to be more consistent with my branding. Now, if you want to download this image to use on yours so that you don't have that bright purple, um, I'll link it below this video so that you can um, so that you can just download it and use it yourself as well. All right, and then I'm gonna click save. And then the next thing that I wanna do is change the buttons so that they are my nice bright red for my color palette. So I'm gonna copy that color code, the hex code. I'm gonna click button and then I'm gonna paste it in here. And you'll see the buttons automatically all change, which is great. The other thing I wanna do with the buttons is make the corners all really sharp because that's, that's just my brand. That's um, what I have on my website is just kind of the feel that I like. So I'm going to drag this corner, see if you if I make it bigger then they're more rounded, the button co corners are, but I like them sharp. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the alignment to be full width, which is this option here. And you don't see a difference yet, but I'll show you in a minute the effect that that has uh, once we start editing our form. So we'll click save. And then um, you can edit the secondary button if you want to, but we're not actually going to be using it on this page. So I'm going to leave that secondary as is. And that's it. That's it for the global settings for design. Now, the next thing to do is to edit the header. Um, and you can just cover over the header here, click edit. I'm going to change out the logo to be my logo, which um, if you don't have yours loaded up yet, you can just click upload image and then um, pick your image from your computer, but I already have mine um, loaded in here. So you can click set, select that. And then my the button that's over here, I don't actually want a button to be there. So um, I'm just gonna delete the text that's in this button field and it will edit it. it it'll, it'll automatically disappear. So that's great. And then I'm gonna click save. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is edit this first section. So to do that, you just click on the section, it'll automatically pull it up. I am going to edit the image. So I'm gonna click this computer image that we've got there. And I've actually already loaded up my PDF image. If you don't have um, like any sort of designed image like this, it's totally fine. You could use a stock photo or something else. It's just for visual interest. So I'm gonna click select on that, automatically pulls it in. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the text here. And I'm actually just gonna to go to this page to copy the text and paste it in to make things faster. Um, and so I'm gonna paste this in here, paste as plain text so it doesn't pull in any weird designs from other editors. And then the button text, I'm gonna say download guide now. And then I wanna leave the button action as a success page, which we'll edit later on. All right, and then the form, I actually want to, um, I wanna add a field to this and I want to edit the field so that it says first name as the placeholder, that way they know what they need to put in. And I'm going to make the field required and save my changes. I'm gonna drag that name up so it's above the button or above the email. I like having that name first. I think it's more intuitive. Um, let's see. And then the next thing to do is to change the settings here so that the block ratio is equal. And that way the, uh, the form here will line up with the section below it when we're done editing all of this. So make block ratio equal, and then we can click save, and that's it. We're done with that section. Um, and then the next thing to do is we want to edit this second section, which I'm actually not going to use this section because it doesn't let us have a form in it. We want to have the form in the second section too. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate the first section, and then I'm going to drag this headline above it because I do still want to have that headline above. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to delete this section. And I'm actually going to delete these two below it as well. We don't need those. You'll see on this page, we just have the one section below and that's the first above. All right. So we've got our first section edited. Now I'm going to edit the second. I'm going to just copy this text here. I'm going to paste this in there. And then um, I'm going to click on the second section to edit it. What I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna switch the image to be a picture of me, because this is kind of where I'm introducing myself to them, just to help build rapport a little bit so that they see, they connect with me as a person and, and start sort of seeing me as the authority here. Um, I'm gonna leave, uh, let's see, I'm not gonna leave the text the same as what's above. I'm gonna copy this text that's in here. I'm Jenny Lakenan. I've built dozens of websites for coaches. Um, yep, that looks good. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to um, 
come in here to settings and I want to change the form alignment so that it's on the right of the picture instead of on the left. That way we get a little bit of um, balance with the top. The top section has it on the right and then the bottom section has it on the left. That just looks a little bit better. And then the only other thing that we need to do is um, add a little bit of spacing to the bottom of this. I don't really like how, see, it's, we've got a little more spacing between the picture and the footer here. So I'm just going to click on this on, on, under settings. You can add some, um, add some bottom spacing with this toggle. All right. So that is our page. Um, you can just look over it and make sure that it looks the way that you want. You know, I think there's a little bit too much space between that headline and the first. So I'm going to click on this first section, go to settings and oh, no, nope, there's no bottom spacing there. So the, the spacing must be in this headline. I'm going to click on that and go to settings. Yep. See the top spacing is dragged all the way up. I'm going to just make that a little bit smaller. There we go like white space, but not that much. <laughs> okay, that's the landing page edited. Now, the only thing we need to do now is edit the success page. So what, what I'm going to do here, I really love having a video on the success page because I also call it a thank you page because it just helps to build trust. It's just another touch point where they can see your face and video builds trust really quickly. So I'm actually going to delete this section because I don't want that. What I want to do is I want to come here to blocks and I want to add a heading plus one and two. Um, that way we can have a couple of different headlines there. And then the other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to search here for video. And then I'm going to add in a video. And I'm going to edit my heading one and two. Let's see. I'm going to add myself to this list so that I can see my, my confirmation page. There we go. So I'm just going to copy this text here. Paste it in. But you can just type yours in, whatever you want to do. And then for this video, all you have to do is just hit, click on the video um, to edit it. Actually, I need to save that first. And then I can click on this pencil to edit the video. And then I'm just going to paste in my video link. Mine is from Vimeo. I'm going to paste it in there. Click um, go. Click save. Awesome. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to add a little bit of spacing underneath the video, though, just to give it a little more room. All right. And that's it. So that's how you edit your landing page and your success page. Super quick and easy. Next thing to do is just save and publish. And there are a couple more settings you'll set up here and then you're pretty much done. Um, all right. The first thing that, that this is going to have you do when it loads up our settings page is it's going to ask us to pick a URL for our page. Now you'll see here, I picked five tips coach websites for my URL. This is the URL that you will copy and you can use this for ads. You can use this for like social media or any, just anywhere you want to share the landing page. Um, so I'm going to put in that and then I'm just going to do dash two. Actually, I'll do dash three just to make sure. It has to be unique from any, any other pages. So that's why sometimes you need to play with that title a little bit. Um, and then page title, you can just put the name of your freebie here, five tips to a sleek website put in some keywords. Um, this is what will appear in like a little preview on Google if someone is Googling and this pops up or if um, you share it on social media, this is like the description that people will see. You can allow search engines to index this page if you want to. It probably isn't gonna make that much of a difference though, honestly, um, because you're gonna be sharing this directly with people most of the time probably. All right, and then you can also edit the title and description for social media, but it, it should actually by default pull in this, these SEO settings. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I would pick an image though, choose the image, um, either of you or of the stock photo or, or other picture that you put on the landing page. Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel, you can actually add here. And I have um, some blog posts about how to set up Google Analytics and set up your Facebook Pixel. So I'll link those below this video, but I'm not gonna go um, too much into that here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Click save and continue. And it will load you up like a summary page of all of the settings and um, and then you're good to go and you can start using this page. Um, you can just copy the URL here and you can share it. I'm just gonna pull this up so you see our page. You can share this on Facebook, you can share this on Instagram or using an ad or just you know in emails, wherever you want to. Um, whatever you want to do to start building your list. All right, that is how you make a landing page in MailerLite. It's not very hard. It's not very, um, it doesn't take very long. So I definitely recommend that you get started on that. Now, if you are curious 
about this, I actually do have a five tips to a sleek website <laughs> freebie if you haven't, um, or free download if you haven't guessed already. So I'm gonna link that below this video if you wanna go download it. It's my top five tips for building a really professional coach website. Um, yeah, and if this video was helpful, subscribe so that you can get to future tech tutorials and videos for um, taking your coaching business to the next level.